like you're looking through a telescope you see where you're gonna be growing getting better you're not the person they see. good evening youtube this is green and my tears coming to you on green tv also known as katrina so this is day 15 through 18 of national solar month september 2012 so i have a lot to show well semi a lot to show you but a few updates so i did complete that um I did complete the apron. I really like it, and a lot of people like it. And um, I didn't, comp I haven't started the dress per se, but I'll get to that in just a moment. So here is the apron. This is actually the pattern I use to make the apron. And I'm starting to put all these patterns in a plastic bag because they are vintage. They're starting to tear with the least touch, so I'll be having them all in bags. So that's that. And um, so here is the apron itself. And it's really cute. This is the yellow side with the, the teddy bears on it. And here is the teddy bear side with the yellow pocket on it. And I put satin ribbon on it. And it's really cute. And what I did to achieve this is I just fold this part in half and ironed it so it could fold. And I left it, um, left it open so I could make a nice bow when I do decide to wear it. So that's that. And what um as far as this dress, oh my gosh. Headache, headache, headache. But not headache. The biggest part of this was making the pin tucks. And what happened is I did make I did trace the pattern itself and then um, made the sample pattern out of this. So this is the sample pattern. And what happened with the sample 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 is that it was too small, uh, meaning that it didn't um, I just fake closed it and it didn't close enough. So I had to adjust it. And um, what I did to adjust it it had darts. It has darts on the sides right here, but I'm going to eliminate the darts and still put the dart at the bust. And it was too tight up under the arm, so I adjusted the armhole and I had to adjust the um, sleeve as well. And I adjust the side seam. I added five eighths, and that should be fine. And I'll be making my sample, God willing, tonight with that. So I'm really excited with that, and can I wait to get started on that? But I have a setback with this because I haven't decided on which fabric I'm going to use. But I'm um, off on Friday, so what I'm going to do is go through my stash and see if I can find some fabric to make this here dress. So in the meantime, I might start this dress right here because I know which fabric I want to use to make this dress. So that's that. Um, also, what I did is... My, uh, excuse me. Joann's is having a sale on buttery patterns, which started... I guess day before yesterday, and I don't know how long the sale is, so you can go onto joannes.com and find out how long the butter patterns are going to be on sale. But they are 99 cents, so I picked up yet another vintage inspired dress. So here's the dress. This is uh, butter 5813, and I really like this dress because I like the detail at the bust line, which is really nice. Can't wait to make this dress, and this is what the dress looks like up close. That is going to be really nice. And I'm thinking I would want to make this out of some denim fabric or some denim, denim-ish fabric. That would be real nice and do some embroidery on it as well. So that's that pattern. And I also picked up Butterick 5474. And this is an apron pattern. And I really like this apron pattern, this apron here. So yeah, I really like, I'm really liking aprons. I don't know what it is about aprons that I'm liking, but I'm liking aprons. And so... I had a little downtime, and this is totally not part of National Swimmer, but it is. Because myself and one of my friends are supposed to be doing a quilt by the end of this year. And, excuse me, either, neither one of us have started. So, I'm going to make the initiative to start. So, what I did is, um, I was on YouTube, and I saw that Craftsy has a website. And I went through, and I saw that they had... This lady, I don't know her name, but I'll put her information in the um, information box. I'm excuse me, put the information in the description box for you. And um, she each month she does two blocks. So I did the first block for January. Here it is, September. But nonetheless, I don't necessarily like all of them, so I'm not gonna do all the ones that she has on her website on her in her class. But you'll feel free to do that. And particularly this class is free. So some of the classes start off at like. $9.99 going up to $49.99, but you could always catch them on sale. Like I told you last week that they were on sale for uh, like from $9.99 on up to $19.99. No, $19.99 or less. So, yeah. But this is the asterisk 
block. And this block, I started with this being 12 inches, and then these strips are two two inch strips. And you use the width of the fabric to get this the strips. But um, this block could be 12 inches. This is this block per se is not exactly 12 inches because it's bigger because I added these pieces in it. But you can always use your 12 inch um, square to make it 12 inch block. But this is possibly going to be in my quilt that I'm going to be making for myself this year. And I'm really excited about doing it because I've never done anything like that before. So wish me luck. So um, that's it for now. And I pray that everybody had a blessed day today. Do not forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And also one other question. What color do you think I should make this dress out of? Give me some idea. But I'm basically going to go off what I have in my stash. So give me an idea of a color or pattern that you think I should make this dress out of so um that's it for now so like i said don't forget to comment rate subscribe know that god loves you and i can't wait cannot wait to see what love to sew has to um make because she's been sewing right along with me with doing this um national sewing month and i've been inspired her and i forgot the other young lady's name i apologize but you know who you are the one who picked up was she the one that picked up the um sewing machine or the, the one that got the quilt I think it's in Embus. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I should have this written down, but I don't. But you know who I'm talking about. So, so I also want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, and just thank you for supporting me while I'm going through sewing and giving me much love as far as my grandma's concerned, and she's all well, and I'm just thankful. So, um, that's it for now. Good night.